Sarah Ellis, Delia, Lisa G. The gang's all here. Well, um, it's 4.30. And I just wanna say thank you for giving me an hour of your time today. Um, I know we're kind of in uncertain times, but being able to connect and see everybody is like great, especially for me, cause I live alone. And so like, I've got my dog and cat to talk to, but seeing other humans is nice as well. Um, so let's get started. Child's pose. And just settle in on your mat. Letting your belly hang low, relaxing your arms, possibly resting your forehead on your mat. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Take a breath in, fill all the way up. Sigh it out of your mouth. Now seal your lips and start to create your ujjayi, which I promise will make you hot and sweaty, even though we're not in a heated room. Breathe in, downward facing dog on your exhale. Take five breaths and start to move your body. Maybe you're tick-tocking your hips, pedaling out your feet. I see some three-legged dogs, some hip circles. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Hang in ragdoll. Crisscross your arms at your elbows. And if swing side to side feels good, take that on. Relax your neck. One more breath. Release your arms. Mountain, inhale. On your exhale, let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Take a breath in, bring your hands into your heart. We'll start class with an ohm. Uh... Mountain, inhale. Forward fold, halfway lift, high plank. Nice high planks. Yeah, spread your 10 fingers wide and then press the ground away from you. Take a deep breath in, shift forward three inches, lower down halfway, upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Nice. Three more breaths. Now two. Fill up, empty, step or jump to the top of your space. Halfway lift, fold, mountain, forward fold, halfway, high to low plank, upward facing, downward facing, five breaths.
Yeah, and you can take any movements that you need. So maybe you still need to wiggle the hips. That's always welcome. Take a breath in, rise to your toes. Exhale, step or jump. Halfway, fold, mountain, forward fold. Halfway, hide a little plank. Low through, upward facing, downward facing. Five breaths. And if you're ready for more, you can always take more, doing hops for handstand, L hops, kick ups. Nice. Sarah, Chelsea, and Jason, Liz, Dan. Nice. Last breath in. Exhale. Step or jump to your hands. Halfway. Fold. Mountain. Forward fold. Halfway. Hide a low plank. Upward. Downward, three breaths. Two more. Last one, rise to your toes, bend, fly to your hands. Halfway lift, fold, chair. Nice. So see if you can do this. Can you pick up your 10 toes and then spread them wide and press down through the ball and heels of your feet? Take a breath in, forward fold. Halfway lift, hide a low plank. Upward facing, downward facing. Warrior one right side. And then stack your right knee on top of your right ankle. So maybe if you had a water bottle, you could stack it on your thigh and it wouldn't go anywhere. Take one breath in, step back, high to low plank. Upward, downward, left side, warrior one. Reach your fingertips towards your ceiling and then drop your shoulders away from your ears. Get real long through your spine. Breathe in. Plant your hands, step back, high to low plank. Upward, downward, five breaths. Yeah, people are just going for the kicks, hops for handstands all over. One more breath in, empty, step or jump, halfway, fold, chair, one breath, fold, halfway, high to low. Upward, downward, warrior one right side, low plank on your exhale. Flow, left side rise up. Plant your hands on your exhale, hide a low plank. Nice work. I see people have some obstacles going on. That's fun. Cat yoga in the house. Take a breath in, empty, 
Step or jump to your hands. Halfway. Fold. Chair. Forward fold. Halfway. High to low. Upward. Downward. Right side warrior one. Low plank. Up. Down. Left side. Low plank. Yeah, and follow your breath. It's kind of hard to tell here <laughs> if we're delayed or if we're like right on time. So just follow your breath. Inhales rising up, exhales coming down. Two more breaths. Inhale to your toes, bend, step or jump, halfway. Fold, chair, fold, halfway, high to low plank. Upward, downward, right side, low plank. Low, left side, on your inhale, rise up. Plant your hand, step back. All right, we've got one more sun B and two more breaths. Inhale to your toes, bend, step or jump, halfway, fold, chair. Yes, fold, halfway, high to low, upward, downward, Right side, low plank, low, left side, low plank. Right leg rises to the sky, flip your dog. Nice. As you press down through your feet, lift up through your hips. One more inhale, high plank. Side plank, your right hand down, your left arm goes up. And you can always modify and amplify this. I see tree legs. Yes, breathe in, high to low plank. Upward facing, downward facing, flip dog, left side, here we go. And squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine and then down towards your tailbone. Nice, I see cactus arms, that's always an option. High plank, side plank, left hand down. Take two rounds of breath. One more. High to low. Upward. Downward. Crescent lunge, right side. Bring your hands into your heart. On your exhale, twist to the right. And you have three more breaths. Inhale to get long. Exhale to twist a little deeper. Breathe in. Deep twist, warrior two. Extended side angle. And if you don't have a block at home, you can always use your water bottle or your thigh.
Take one more breath in, high to low plank. Upward facing, downward facing. Inhale through your nose, open your mouth, let it go. Do that again, breathe in, sigh it out. Crescent lunge, left side. On your exhale, twist to the left. Lift your right hamstring all the way to your ceiling. Excellent work. I see you, Kim. Take two breaths, breathe in. Twist on your exhale. Breathe in, twist, warrior two. Extended side angle. Five breaths. I see Maria going for a bind. Sarah else has a half bind. Yes, go for it. Breathe in. High to low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing. Inhale to your toes. Bend your knees. Step or jump. Halfway. Fold. Chair. And create that engagement with your feet by lifting your toes and pressing down the balls and heels of your feet. Bring your hands into your heart, twist to the right. Checking in with your knees, make sure they're still in a straight line. Three big breaths. Breathe in, twist, fill up, twist, forward fold. Fingers to toes, forward fold. You can step your feet inner hip distance apart and grab your big toes. Inhale to get long and exhale folding deeper. One more breath. Chair. Twist to the left, bring your hands into your heart and twist. And you have four more breaths. Nice, Chelsea. Going for side crows. Two more breaths, you got this, breathe in. Twist deep, fill up, twist. Forward fold, palms to toes, forward fold. And relax your neck, give it tiny shakes, yes and no. Maybe you throw a maybe in there. Crow. Look at all these crows. One more breath. Oh, wait, we're going to stay. We got people going into tripod headstand. Yes. Breathe in. Jump back. Upward facing. Downward facing. Breathe in. Let it go. Inhale to your toes, bend, step or jump. Halfway, fold, mountain. Eagle, right side. And whatever room you're in, can you find something to set your eyes on? Find yourself something to focus.
Breathe in. Switch sides. Eagle left side. And the lower you sit, the easier the eagle tends to be. You have a lower center of gravity. Fill up. Switch sides. Eagle. Can you lift your elbows in line with your shoulders? Inhale, switch sides, eagle. Two breaths. Breathe in and release. Standing leg raise. Grab your right knee, right big toe. And once you're there, you can open up. You can extend your left arm. You might shift your gaze. Come back to center. Don't drop your leg. Airplane. And see if you can create up dog in your chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Maybe set your drishti about four feet in front of you. Half moon. And if you want to, you can try taking on the binds. Reach back and grab your ankle. Nice work, I see y'all. Killing it, breathe in and release. Shake your legs out. Mountain. Standing leg raise, left side. And imagine your standing big toe mound is being pressed into the ground. Come back to center, airplane. Half moon. And maybe you try on the bind here. Breathe in, forward fold. Mountain, dancer, right side. And I notice in my own practice, if I kick my leg really hard and that's what I focus on, my mind gets off the fact I'm trying to balance on one leg. Maybe that'll work for you. And switch sides, dancer, left side. See if you can bring your hips in line with one another. Excellent adjustment. And release. Tree. And maybe since you're at home in a safe spot, maybe you try tree with your eyes closed or you try an alternate arm variation 
and just see what's possible for you. Like you're at home, no one can see you except me. Yes, y'all are going for it. And release, switch sides. Yeah, Kevin's got another variation he took on, figure four. Two breaths. And release. Inhale, mountain. Forward fold. Halfway, high to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Triangle right side. And check out your alignment so that your front heel is in line with either your back heel or your back inner arch. Take one more breath in. Come back up to standing. Your front toes point for side facing wide leg forward fold. I'm not sure where they're pointing, but they're pointing the same direction. Now for side, wide leg side facing forward fold. And we're gonna be here twice. So if you wanna go upside down, you can feel free to do that. Two more rounds of breath. Come back up to standing. Turn your left toes to face the back of your mat. Triangle. And press your top hip towards the back of your room and your front hip towards the front of your room. Breathe in, come back up to standing. Your left toe now points the same direction as your right toe. And you can take an arm bind here if you need a shoulder rinse. And wide leg side facing forward fold. And see if you can bring your hips in line with your heels. Two more breaths. Breathe in, come back up to standing. Right toes point to the top of your mat and your left foot steps out, pyramid. And if you wanna take reverse namaste arms, you're welcome to do that or some other bind, but you can always bring your hands to the floor. Twisting triangle. Left hand down, right arm up, I think. Thank you, Sarah Ellis. I don't know left and right in the studio. This is real hard. Breathe in. Forward fold, back foot comes to meet your front foot. Mountain. This time your right foot steps back and your left toes stay where they are for pyramid.
twisting triangle. This time your right hand down, left arm up. Take a breath in, twist, breathe in, high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Locus, rise up, squeeze your shoulder blades and your knees together and rise up. Breathe in and come down. Take a breath in, let it go. Locus number two, here we go, rise up. Yes, all kinds of different variations going on. It looks awesome. Fill up and come down. Floor bow. Grab both ankles, kick and rise. You're here for five, four, three, two, come down. Take a breath in, let it go. Rise up. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Come down. You can bring your knees to touch and gently start to windshield wiper your legs. Or maybe you just tick your hips back right and left. Upward facing dog. Camel. This is where I love using a block. So if you have that available and just put your hands in your back pockets and press your hips towards the top of your mat. One more breath and slowly start to come up. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Camel number two, here you go. For five, four, three, two, one, slowly come up. Yeah, make sure you're not going anywhere. Flip around, bridge. Go for it, just plant your feet and lift your hips. You're rising together with each other, holding up yourself. Yes, breathe in and come down. All right, here we go. Wheel number one, rise up. You're here for five, four, three, Two, calm down. Take a breath in, let it go. Rise up. You're here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Calm down. Fill up, empty out, rise up. You're here for seven, Six, five, four, three, two, calm down. You got this. Take a breath in, let it go. Rise up for eight, seven, six, press down, lift up, two, one, calm down. Huge breath in, enormous breath out, rise up, four, nine, eight, seven, you've got this, five, four, three, two, calm down. 
All right, I see y'all out there. You got this. Take a huge breath in, let it all out, and rise up. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, come down. Soup to Baddha Konasana. Bring your feet to touch. Let your knees fall out wide. Put one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And check in with the powerful, amazing being that is you. Like, it's just amazing to see all of you guys in each of your respective homes, like working so hard, taking such care of yourselves and taking care of the world, really, by choosing to stay home. Happy baby. And make this happy baby feel good. So maybe you stretch your legs or you rock side to side. All right, here we go, abs. Shoot your heels to the ceiling. Drop your right foot down 45 degrees and you can bring your hands behind your head. You're gonna pulse your shoulder blades off the mat for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch your legs. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, both heels rise to the ceiling. You can bring your hands underneath your low back. Drop your feet 30 degrees. Drop them 30 more. Tap the ground, hover and hold. Look at your big toes. Take a breath in. On your exhale, lift your heels to the ceiling. Drop them 30, 60. Tap the ground, hover and hold. Breathe in, stay, fill up, lift your heels to the ceiling. Yogi bicycles. We're gonna do 30, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, high boat. Yes, look at all those amazing high boats. Low boat. One more high boat. Last low boat and release. Yeah, stretch it out. Reach your fingertips behind you and press your heels away from you. And then you can bring your knees into your body. Give yourself a huge hug. That's a hug from me since we can't be there together. And then you can rock gently side to side. And then you can rock front and back. And Sarah's already ready for her half pigeon. Half pigeon on the right side. Yeah, and you're welcome to take recline pigeon. If you're doing recline pigeon on the ground, I like to put my foot on something sturdy and then I can push against it and then press the other leg away. And just focus on your breath. Focusing on the oxygen coming in through your nose and through your lungs. 
filling you up. And then as you exhale, follow it back out. Matching the length of your inhales to the length of your exhales. Three more breaths. Downward facing dog. Move all the things that need movement. Half pigeon left side. And if pigeon is a time when your mind starts to wander, bring it back to your breath. The breath that keeps you alive, keeps you moving through your practice. And be grateful that you have strong, healthy, powerful bodies that allow you to do all the things you love. Five breaths. Two more. Last one. Downward facing dog. And then you can bring your feet through your hands to sit on your bottom. And set up for double pigeon. And you want your right ankle right on top of your left knee or even hanging off the edge of your left leg. And you can always fold forward if you want more. But if you're anything like me, you're just focusing on breathing. Three more big breaths. Last breath here. Switch your legs. And make this posture as comfortable for you as possible by using blocks, maybe a blanket, pillow, whatever you have available. Three breaths.
and come up. Frog. So if you have the availability of a block or a wall, like a wall is great to press your heels against. But if not, you can just walk your knees out so that they are in line with your hips and that your heels are in line with your knees. And you can use a block or a pillow blanket, small mammal, whatever you have to support you. And just focus on your breath. Counting your inhales and your exhales. And maybe your breath makes you available to on your exhales, maybe sinking just one millimeter deeper. Three breaths, you got this. Two more. Last one. So you can belly flat forward if you want to, or you can bring your toes to touch behind you. Seated single leg extension. Doesn't matter which leg goes out first because we're going to do both sides. So whatever leg makes you happy. And then fold forward, drawing your chin to your big toenail. Switch sides. There's different arm variations going on. You can always crisscross at the wrists, or you can drop an arm inside your leg if you want to open up your side body. See all those different things going on. Seated forward fold. And again, reach your chin to your big toes. Yeah. Two breaths. Reverse tabletop. Yep, lift your hips, just let your head fall back. Fish. You can prop yourself up on your elbows or use your block or any other um, accessory you might have available to you. And you're always welcome to stay here, but you can always take an inversion of your choice. So if you want legs up the wall, waterfall, shoulder stand, headstand, handstand, all those things are available.
So if you're in shoulder stand, drop your toes behind you for plow, pressing your heels to the back of the room, whichever room you're in. And if you're in plow, you can come to deaf yogis. And you can roll out long on your mat. Supine twist to the right. Bring your right knee into your body and then let it fall across you. If you're doing yoga with a friend, you can reach over and lightly help them, give them an assist on their knee. Switch sides. Just taking time to notice how blessed we all really are. We have a strong, healthy body. We have this amazing community that shows up for one another. Come back to center. Give yourself one more huge hug from me. Shavasana. Allow your arms and legs to be limp. Your hips and chests are cradled by your mat. Unclench your jaw. Remove your tongue from the top of your mouth. And know that there is nothing you need to fix and absolutely nothing for you to change because you are whole and complete exactly as you are.
Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Bring larger movements to your arms and legs. As you're ready, take a big good morning stretch. Pull over to the right or left side of your body. And then gently push yourself up into a seated position. And I'm gonna ask you guys to unmute yourselves so we can ohm together. Thank you so much for showing up on your mat today and spending this exciting adventure with me. We'll end class with the sound of ohm. Thank you again for showing up on your mats. Thank you for allowing me to lead you. Welcome Knuckles to Forehead Center. The love and the light in me sees and honors the love and the light in each and every one of you. Together we bow and say. Namaste. Namaste. Y'all are amazing. Thank you. 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 Thank you.